Are you looking for the best way to automate Google Ads without wasting ad spend? Well, there's a lot of nifty tools out there to help you with that. And I'm gonna show you a bunch of them and a bunch of techniques. And this is gonna be one meaty video, so get comfortable. But first, before we dive into the tools, I will share with you the top methods and strategies for Google Ads automation. And I rank them from beginner to expert level, so you can choose one depending on which level you're comfortable with right now. And once you decide on a PPC strategy, like I talked about in my last video, I wanna make sure you clearly understand the potential outcomes that automation can generate for your business. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you an open-ended question, and how you answer this will help set expectations moving forward. Here's the question. What results are you expecting to receive by automating your ads? Now I'm gonna list five potential target outcomes. And if at least one of these resonates with you, then I can recommend that you consider automation. Do you want certainty of your campaign results? Because you know exactly what rules and criteria that will make you successful, and you just wanna use automation to enforce those rules, then this might be right for you. Do you want automatic review of your results? because you're already successful, but you want a system for reviewing your results to make sure they remain optimal? Do you want more efficient ad spend? If you spend millions on ads each month, then automation can potentially save you hundreds of thousands of dollars by eliminating waste. Do you want more bang for your buck? You can double your ROI by weeding out keywords and placements that waste your money. And do you want a higher return on time spent managing ads? If you want to eliminate repetitive tasks like bid management and search query report mining, you can do that with automation. Now, if you're not quite at that point yet where these are useful, for example, you're just getting started with targeting or you're getting your message dialed in, then I recommend that you don't automate at this time. And if you wanna have a dead simple process to get started with automation, download our Google Ads Automation Workbook at ddu.ai slash ads book. And this workbook also contains a list of all the aspects of PPC advertising that you can automate, so be sure to grab it while you can. Okay, let's talk about the levels of Google Ads Automation. The level of automation that's right for you depends on the value that you want, how quickly you want to get that implemented, and the cost savings that you want to achieve. And if you're at a beginner level, you're going to want to use the built-in automations within Google Ads because this gives you faster implementation and you can use these built-in tools directly inside the Google Ads interface. For example, we have smart creatives, smart campaigns, smart bidding, performance max, automatic placements, and that's just the name of a few of the things that you can do that are automatic. Now keep in mind, since it's all a black box solution within Google, you'll have little control over what happens. But the big advantage here is that you can implement these very quickly without a ton of effort. Now if you want to go to the intermediate level, then I'd recommend checking out Google Ads Scripts. Now this is if you want more control over what happens, and you can use that with Google Ads Scripts. And these functions allow you to programmatically import and export data to and from your Google Ads account. And here's just a few of the many things you can do with Scripts. You can increase or decrease your keyword bids. You can adjust budgets for each campaign based on performance, and you can block ineffective ad placements if they don't meet your ROI criteria. Now the advantage is reducing or eliminating your redundant tasks. And the disadvantage though is that there's a lot of potential for things to go wrong. And that's why I recommend that you start small and build your way up with scripts. Finally, at an advanced level, we have third-party automation software. If you want pinpoint control, you should consider third parties. Now keep in mind these are expensive in both time and money, and they're most suitable for high spending ad accounts to get even better performance. And this may be a controversial opinion, of course, but I'd recommend a stair-step approach starting with the built-in Google Ads automations, then considering scripts, and only then once you're successful and you wanna get a better idea of what control you need, should you use software that fits your criteria. You don't wanna start out with complicated setups that tend to kill the new accounts. Now, if you are looking for best-in-class results or significant time savings, consider Google Ads as an all-in-one management suite. Now, I list those in the Google Ads Automation Workbook if you want to know what these suites are, and that's at ddu.ai slash adsbook if you want to see some of the options. Now, the next question I have is, are Google's built-in strategies, is that all you really need? Do you even need the intermediate or advanced items? Because Google's built-in strategies may ease the burden that you need, but they still need solid fundamentals in order for them to work, like messaging, targeting, and meeting human expectations. But I have to admit that Google's built-in strategies, the ones that are right in the interface, are quite powerful. And so if you wanna see a complete list of those strategies, there's a resource in the comments here for a Google list of the strategies, okay? I'm gonna give you a link to a Google support document. And these automated Google search strategies match up to my three core strategies as well. But here's the caveat with that. 
If you aren't achieving success consistently, these bid strategies won't help. So you need to have more manual success before you can start using those. Okay, so that's a pretty solid overview of the levels of automation you have. Remember, download the workbook because I list out the tools that we recommend, the tools that you might wanna try for all levels of automation. And the bottom line here is that there's no level of automation from Google that will eliminate the need for an objective third party that manages ad campaigns. Why is that? Well, because automation is more than just machines learning what works best. There will always be a need for a competent management person to represent the best interest of advertisers. Google's automation tools, Google scripts, and even third-party tools are always about the best way to use the platform, but not always the best way to get the results that you want. And so that's how you get the best results to happen, diligent management on top of automation tool. Okay, so that's it for our series on Google Ads automation. If you wanna become a better manager of Google Ads for your organization, check out the helpful tools and resources in our Google Ads automation workbook, which you can download at ddu.ai slash adsbook. And if you want more in-depth knowledge of ads automation, we have one of the most in-depth workshops on this topic that you'll ever see, featuring Sean Bond from PPC Samurai and AdPulse. And you can get this workshop by going to ddu.ai slash advanced automation to learn more about our workshop and to get access to the recordings. So thanks so much for following along in the series on Google Ads Automation. Hopefully you enjoyed the change of pace as we got into Google Ads. And I look forward to coming back at you next week with our next video in a brand new series on something that I've never talked about on our YouTube channel, but I think you're gonna be really interested and excited to learn about it. So stay tuned for that one, and hopefully you can guess in the comments as to what we're gonna do next and see if you are right.